Pumonis. I'm joined by Trudy Makaya. She's a consulting economist at Mercantile Bank. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. The big takeaway from budget seems to be this increase in VAT. How is it going to affect us and is that the most important thing that came out of that budget? Yeah, I think it's, it is the most important thing. Um, you know, with the minister trying to balance, trying to fill this hole, um, this 50 billion hole, I think VAT was one of um, the many options um, that would have been on the table. Um, given that you know the South African economy for a long time has been powered by retail spending, it is a bit worrying that you have an increase in VAT. Mm. Um, it also affects poor people more um, than middle class people. Even though if you look at the whole pot, middle class people will be paying more as a proportion of income, um, it would be a higher proportion uh, for poorer households. So it is, um, in a way, working against the usual principles of our fiscal policy where, you know, the wealthier you are, the more you pay. And I say it's one of the options because when you look at the wealth-related taxes, there isn't a straight cut, um, there isn't a straightforward tax on wealth. It's all very indirect. There's mm -hmm. an increase in um, estate duty. Um, there's an increase on luxury items. Uh, but there isn't just a straightforward, we're going to tax X percent mm -hmm. of your wealth every year. Declare your assets, we take a cut. Whereas with income, governments are very happy to do that. You declare your income every year, they take a cut. But they're not very um, keen to do the same with, with assets. Uh, property, stocks, etc. So that 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 was um, a glaring um, choice that was made. That you know that the burden of filling that hole um, has to be borne by everyone, um, as opposed to perhaps maybe targeting uh, more um, on the rich. Mm. Um, when I look at then um, some of the other measures um, that were taken, you know, there's a health promotion levy. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of bits and pieces here and there, but VAT will definitely deliver the bulk. Um, of the money that's necessary um, to fill the gap. When we're talking about the budget, it's all about uh, sound bites and numbers, like 51 billion rand for education or this VAT. In those sound bites, is there something important that we're missing or anything that we should worry about when it comes to budget that perhaps Minister Gigaba has explained and that we should be focusing more on, but we're not? I would say where some of the expenditure cuts come from, because you know, 85 billion is going to be cut from government spending over the next few years, which is necessary. But you know, a lot of it is coming from um, infrastructure maintenance grants to local government, for instance. So this is obviously going to slow down economic growth where infrastructure is not being maintained or less um, mm -hmm. is, is, is being developed. So you, know, you, you need cuts, but you also have to be careful uh, where you're cutting. Um, I think. On industrial development, there are some positive um, things that were done in the budget that we haven't talked much about. So for instance, I feel like special economic zones, where it was announced that they would get some corporate um, tax cuts, um, there would also be incentives to encourage employment in, in special economic zones. You know, that's very important and that would generate employment. And it sounds like it's being done in a way that they would be, the incentives would be geared for um, firms that are going to be exporting their products. So they're not going to be undercutting um, local competition or even local wages. So that sounded um, like a very positive mood, uh, move. Um, and of course, the social grant, social um, spending in general um, has also been um, kept at increases above inflation. Um, of course, it's you know, given that, but taking via VAT, but it is encouraging that, um, you know, that there have been um, positive adjustments when it comes um, to the social wage. You've spoken about previously the township economy, the importance of that. Minister Gigaba also speaking about trying to inject money into startups in the medium term and into small businesses now. Do you feel there was enough emphasis placed on, on those kind of businesses? Well, I think there are constraints, so um, there's limits to how much can be done in terms of actual expenditure. Um, you know, there was a fund by the private sector for two billion that, that was raised about two years ago, and government has finally matched it with its own fund um, that's going to be run, you know, focused on small business, but also on innovation. So the more innovative end um, of small business, which of course doesn't exclude um, township um, entrepreneurs because they also have ideas that might be more aligned to innovation, um, digital technologies, mm -hmm. apps, etc. 
So um, I think it was positive, and I think it was also sending a message that government spending on small business is going to be targeted at those that are effective, and it's not just going to be um, a generic grant um, or wi wi without expectations um, of performance in return, uh, which, which I think is quite important. Trudy Makaya, thanks so much for your time on SABC News.